Today, I'm gonna go over what I have gone on this tank. I'm gonna go over how much this tank is generating per month, how much I'm earning from this tank alone. So uh, let's get to it. Usually people don't like to spend a lot on anemones. So most of the time I'll sell my smaller anemones rather than big ones. And I usually sell them for around 600, 650 shipped, which means out of that, I get around $500 per an enemy. Of course, I don't sell anemones every single month. First two years when I set up this tank, I had just few anemones and then of course I had more and more. But uh, just so you guys know, I wasn't selling none of my anemones until they filled the whole rock structure. Since I'm a hobbyist, I don't just sell anemones. If folks want to trade, I trade them as well. For mushrooms or for acroporas, of course, you guys can trade on enemies for basically anything, for fish as well. But that's what I've been doing. I've been trading my enemies for corals and I've been selling them as well. What worked for me as far as marketing goes, I usually like to post this tank on the local Facebook groups and on an enemy Facebook groups. That's what I've been getting the most purchases from actually. In the beginning, you're gonna have to be patient for sure. I started this tank with just two small Colorados and I have over 20 here. I have a few of the larger pieces here. Over here, I have one huge one. One on the back is big as well. So uh, basically, I don't like pulling my enemies off the rock. That's not something that I do. Uh, every single time I post an enemy, I tell folks, hey, I have one or two, and they're like, how do you mean you have just one or two? You have a bunch. Basically, every single time I'm ready to set an enemy is when an enemy starts walking. Usually, they start walking on the back wall or this wall here. Let me go over equipment, what I have going on. This is a 40-gallon water box, 24 times 24. I believe it's 18 high. I do have a skimmer. I use it sometimes, it's not on all the time. Uh, here I do have a refugium right here on the back where I have the Tunzi grow light right here inside. There's a cord from it right here. And uh, of course I have a return pump right here, Tunzi ATO, my UV that's running right, right here, thermometer, heater right there. I do have temperature controller, MP10. And uh, this is uh, XR15 radium uh, gen four. And everyone's been asking me how I run this light. I started this light at around 75 or 80%, and now it's around 95%, actually. They're basically light hungry as any of our Acroporas. And um, yeah, that's about it. As far as maintenance goes, I do just uh, once a month water changes, I do five to 10 gallons. I don't dose anything in this tank. As you guys can tell, I don't have none of the dosing pumps. The only thing that I'm keeping eye on this tank is actually temperature and salinity. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below, or you can always text me on Facebook, Instagram. I just set up my website, website is live, so go and check out Acroporas, Montiporas over there. I'll make sure to drop some of the other corals and maybe an enemies if they start walking around. Keep an eye on that, and um, yeah, like the video, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.